Hello, this is Gio, and I gotta fix this toilet. Actually, I gotta work on or replace the uh, the toilet fill valve. Lifting up the lid here, right inside there. I gotta take that and remove that. But first, I have to empty this water tank, and so I'll show you how to do that. So the first step is just to come down behind the toilet. Either on the left or right is the water shutoff valve. And so you want to typically uh, turn these off by turning it um, uh, clockwise. So this would be on, this would be off. Many of these you're actually having to screw them quite a lot. So um, this one's just a quarter turn and it's off. And so when the uh, water is turned off, the bulk of the water in the tank could just be removed just by simply flushing it. And since the water is out, or excuse me, since the water is off, it doesn't refill. So after we've flushed uh, much of the water out, there's always some residual water remaining. Here I have about a half an inch. Some toilets, depending on their configuration, can be uh, actually just, just under an inch of water left. And quite often you could just take a small little cup and kind of bail it. You could lift up the stopper here and kind of... Uh, agitate the water and uh, so but what I like to do is just take an old towel and get it in there and try to absorb as much of the water as possible I also uh, you could also get some sponges um, a lot of people like to use those big uh, fluffy sponges to try to get the water out but I find that the towel works the best because you can kind of get in the crevices and it'll just absorb slowly and then you could take it out and wring it and then replace it until all the water is gone. So with the towel I removed most of the water. Uh, it, there's still a little bit of dampness on the bottom of the tank but uh, there's no standing water and so the towel did a really good job and the reason I wanted to get this as dry as possible was because when I do remove this fill valve there'll be a there'll be a big hole on the bottom of the tank and any water left in the tank would just run out on the floor flooding the floor. Uh, I still when I remove this before I move it I want to put a towel on the floor perhaps even a little tiny uh, bucket on the floor to capture any residual water that may drip out but I definitely won't get a flood uh, like I would have before if I left all the water in the tank. And so I'm going to go ahead and do my work on this fill valve and then uh, show you how to just fill back up the tank. Okay, so I replaced the uh, fill valve and I made sure everything was secure. And so I tightened, I put a new washer in, I made sure that all the, connect, all the connections were tight and I could probably tighten that one a little bit more. Everything's tight. And so just the next thing you do is just turn back on the water. It'll automatically start filling. And then just make sure that periodically check for leaks. And once it's filled, you should be set. Okay, it finished filling about the right height. And I don't feel any leaks on the bottom. And so we're set. There you go. See you next time. Bye-bye.